Hey everybody, it is I, Super Paul Games, and welcome to the pizza boy who saved the world. Hey girl, I got a sausage pizza for you. I shouldn't say that, that's not true. I don't have one for her. She'll be like, you bitch. This is by Mr. Paul Franzen, who did, um, he did that anxiety game that I really liked about answering the door, and he also did Cat President. So without further ado, let's save the world. If I can figure out what, yeah. <laughs> we get achievement for that. What would you like the name of our handsome pizza boy to be? Um. Oh, there's not enough room for that. Big sausage. Last name. Um. Dongerson. Big sausage Dongerson. Chapter one. Wednesday night. Hmm. I like the music in it so far. That's pretty good. Hi, I'm Big Sausage Dongerson, and I've been a pizza delivery driver. I'm trying to think. Maybe I should go with the creepy voice instead. I'm just afraid that's going to wear my throat out. Hey, I'm Big Sausage Dongerson. I've been a pizza delivery driver for the past nine months, and my car will never smell the same again. My job's okay, I guess. I get all the free pizzas I can eat, and I can eat a lot when I'm a big sausage man. That's nice, and sometimes the chips are good too. Still, when I was a kid, I never expected that this is what I'd be when I grew up. A piece of man. I was never supposed to become a permanent thing. My mama said, you'll never succeed, and I'll be like, you shut up, I'm a pizza man. I only applied here, her. Cause I got fired from the tech place and I needed a temporary gig for a few months. <laughs> I poop in that sometimes, don't tell no one. But sometime, somehow it morphed <laughs> into my full-time permanence job. My co-workers complain that the customers are too demanding. That ain't true at all. <laughs> Most of them are ordinary. Hey, that's my friend Lauren! <laughs> if you ever seen me stream or um Oh, I've done some LPs with her before, visual novels. That's Indigo Wolfie on Twitch. Oh, wait, now I'm going to get in trouble because i got to do her voice. So I should do something sweet and nice. Hey, I need some service. This pizza has too much cheese. Lauren, please don't kill me if you watch this. So hopefully she doesn't watch this. Where's the Parmesan packets? I don't like the Parmesan cups. I wanted the packets. Right. You sent me pineapple pizza and I'm never coming here again! That's a legitimate reason to leave. Apparently he's not a very good pizza man. <sighs> well, usually the customer is normal. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even mind the weird customers. I like it. With the fact that my co-workers all think I'm super old, because I'm in my 20s, oh. Really, this job would be perfect except for one person. Oh man, that takes me back. I used to be a baker back in the day. You can see the mixer back there. Big Sausage, you're an idiot! What do I pay you for? Here, that's my boss, Salvatore. I mean, his friends call him Sal, but of course, sir, I'm not one of his friends. I'm more like the guy he yells at constantly. Can't you hear all the customers complain? Oh shit, what'd I do? Yes, sir, I'll go get him right away, because I'm a big sausage man. What? You can't work the front of the restaurant? You're a delivery driver. Oh, my gosh. Did you take stupid pills this morning? I took some pills I found by the side of the road. Drivers don't work up front. How dare you? If you don't want me to work up front, why do you, why, why you just tell me that? And another thing, you had two late deliveries yesterday. Well, I had things I wanted to do. I was chasing a squirrel, you see. I don't have time for your squirrel nonsense, too. If you mess up like that tonight, you're going to be fired. We can't afford to have any late pizzas. You understand? Don't be late again. Or how do I respond? Um. 
I think he's gonna be like, the pieces were only five minutes late, but it's all right. I'll put them in my lap to keep them warm. Who don't like some lap pizza? <laughs> I don't care if they're five seconds late. If a customer gets late pizzas, they don't come back here again, now do they? Now watch me Vogue. <laughs> Fortunately, the customers didn't even notice. The one guy said it was faster than he expected. Uh, no excuses or you're fired. Why aren't you working right now? You're because you you you, uh, you said you want me to talk to you and I wasn't pooping in that trash can. I told you no excuses! Get back to work! Oh man, that was rough! That's what I was looking at before, because I used to be a baker a long time ago. I was like, oh man, I had to mix them all the time. Oh, now that the boss is done with his um, pep talk, I guess I better get started. Hmm. The delivery screen's on his computers. I'm gonna look at the naked ladies! Proud pizza delivery. He's 11 or uh, one, whatever. Numbers. Oh, I like that. 1776 Constitution Avenue Freedom Patrol. The delivery screen is pretty self explanatory. It's got the address, the time it should take to reach the address, and how old the order is. Oh, man, I'm not good at paying attention. Well, I got no idea what the status line means. I just think it's a weird glitch in the system because we're using computers from like 20 years ago. Let's play some Oregon Trail. I offered to reprogram it, but Mr. Ami just yelled at me. Okay, let's look. Uh, two deliveries right now. Which one should I assign to myself? Um, let's do this one. It's very close. And it's um, the Andrew Street one. It's close, and they've been waiting the longest. Looks like Andrew Street order came in 16 minutes ago. I'm going to take that on. Take me on, pizza man. What if pizza was a King Kong? I would eat that monkey. Just a second. I should probably note that the woman who lives here is a regular customer. Her name is Finley, and she orders a medium pepperoni pizza every day. She's a nice person, <laughs> I guess. <coughs> but it's still kind of awkward to deliver to her, because my co-workers won't shut up about how good looking she is. I think they all got crushes on her. I'm just here to see the titties. Yesterday, Eric went on and on about how hot she is, calling her the pizza goddess, and I called him a sinner. I do not worship pizza goddesses and everything. I don't think she knows that the entire staff loves her. That's not love, big sausage. That's lust. But still, now I feel awkward delivering to her. She gonna murder us in there? <laughs> Pizza delivery. Oh. I like how he's all like, well, everyone else has got the hots for her, but not me. Her, let me leer at you a little more, pretty lady. That's a nice doily you got on there. It's a pocket. Oh, man, you could put all kinds of things on that doily. Great, thanks so much. And here's the receipt for you to sign. Okay. You want to have baby, I mean, or, oh. Uh, or I never know what to do when a customer is writing, do I? Well, we could stay silent, but let's make small talk. Uh, nice weather we're having, right? I chased a squirrel the other day. Uh, my nuts? Ah. Uh. You startled me. I wasn't expecting. Shoot, now I accidentally ripped the receipt in half. You're trying to con me, woman. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... I don't mean to distract you. It's not your fault. I'll just leave you a double-sized tip next time you deliver here, okay? Oh, wait, that was my line. Sounds good to me here. No big sausage. You need that money. Your boss is going to fire you. Just because she's a pretty pizza baby doesn't mean you got to... Or babe doesn't mean you got to give her a free pizza. Well, I'll be seeing you. That was awkward. No big sausage. You just gave her a free pizza. Can I have a free pizza? Well, once her, I'm done with delivery. I'll go on to the computer and tell it that I'm back. Hello, computer. I'm back. Then I pick my next delivery. Simple's right. Let's see what deliveries is up now. 
All right, the Constitution Avenue one is the one that's the longest of my way. Uh, what order do I take? Uh, let's go to Constitution Avenue. All right, America. Never mind, it looks like they haven't finished the Constitutional Avenue pizzas yet. They made the Lodge Lane ones instead. Damn it! Why? They're so weird, why don't they make pizzas in order? Like, is there a reason they skipped over one order, or... Well, I guess it don't matter. Well, I'm taking the Lane Lodge one. <sighs> oh wait, I've already taken deliver tonight. I don't think the other driver's taking one yet, should I? We're gonna take this delivery. Now I'll take it. The other driver can take the Constitution Avenue one when it comes in, which should be soon. That way we get both orders done and I'm not stealing them all. Arr! Plus our boss is going to yell at us if we're just sitting around pooping in the trash can. Alright, this house is number one. I can count there how I lodge lane. And wait, this is three, five, nine. Where, where the hell is number seven? Let me double check the location on my phone. Gee. I sure hope I don't end up late because of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my vibrator's going off. What's this? <laughs> oh, I'm so mature. Urgent message from Big Sausage Dongerson. Isn't it to, not from? Urgent message from me? What the mystery? How did my phone message itself? That don't make any sense. Well, in any case, I can't answer this message. I'm work no, answer it! What if it's time traveling you, warning you? Alright, here we go. Map program says number seven is on the opposite side of the street. Where it say with even numbers for some reason. Okay, weird, whatever. At least it's close by. So was the person who was numbering this neighborhood was just like, ah, fuck it. I screwed up. Just put seven over here on the even side. Or I'll walk across the street and... Uh oh, it's a dog! Oh, hey there, aren't you? Oh, scary! Arf arf? Oh, no, I think it's mad at me. Did you order this pizza? This dog's almost as big as I am. What am I to do? Um. We're gonna deliver the pizza anyway. Out of the way, I got big sausage energy. I'm gonna deliver this here pizza, no matter what. I mean, if I was a customer, I'd be pretty dang mad. The driver came all the way to my house so quick because he didn't like my dog. I'm sorry, doggo. You're going nothing. Do do do. I like that. He's like, I'm just gonna be nonchalant. Oh! Good, it seems to be more interested in smeller in the delivery bag than eating me. State your name and business. Or what? Well, yeah, I like. I like watching the TV shows. Oh, and, um, my big sausage, I got your pizza here. I'll be down in a moment. Is that a security camera I see? Pretty high tech for this neighborhood. Whoa, chill, Fido, chill. Easy, pup, it's all right. Thanks, you can leave the pizza here. I'll take it inside later. What? All right, if you want to eat on the ground, whatever, just pay me. But what about your dog? Chomper, oh, he's harmless. Unless I say chomper attack. No! No, you fuckface! Oh, my body parts. My body parts. Chomper, stop, get down! Sorry about that. Pets, they can get out of control sometimes. You understand. Here, I'll give you an extra tip. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Maybe you could put your dog inside next time when we deliver. Now I gotta go get a rabies test. Or, or else I'm definitely letting the other driver take that delivery. Yeah, I should have done that. I just forget. When I'm busy with my work and all that. Yeah, leaving your attack dog outside? I uh, understand. Not really, but whatever. So here's your money. Thanks so much for the pizzas. You're welcome. I see two bitches hurt. <laughs> what? What'd you say? Nothing. Oh, and one more thing. I don't suppose you have any cats? Me? No, I don't got no pets. That's a shame. I was hoping to get a cat for Chopper to play with. You understand? No, I don't understand. You're insane. Play with, huh? Poor kitty cat. 
It's all right. I'll just look up animal shelters online or somewhere. Like, that's what you should do. Goodbye. Wait, wait, that was his line. I'll just look up animal shelters. Whatever. Bye. It's tough being a delivery man. That sure was weird. Let's go back to that lady who gypped us on pizza. Alright, wood deliveries are up now. We should be here. Those are the same deliveries as last time. What happened to the other driver? Why didn't he take any? This guy's been waiting 43 damn minutes for his pizza. These guys have been waiting half an hour. I'll bet her. Uh-oh. Answer the phone, you idiots! Arr! Thank you for calling Proud City Pizza. I did not poop in the trash. Home of the freshest pizzas. <laughs> May I be a service to you today? Yes, this is Mike. You know the other driver? Oh, hey, Mike. I almost thought caught that squirrel I've been going after, you know. I was looking for you earlier, too. <laughs> why, why, why are you calling? You need me to look up an address for you or something? Yeah, I'm not going to come in tonight. Could you cover for me? But uh, your, your shift started 45 minutes ago. Yeah, but I'm like totally sick or something. Sick of going to work. I mean, what? So I can't make it. Um, I know I should have called earlier, but I didn't hear about the party until now. I mean, um, I've been in bed all day. I used to have a friend I worked with who would just call him drunk. He'd just call him and be like, yeah, I'm hungover from last night. I'm not coming in. That's honest. Or should I? No, tell him to come back to work. I ain't covering for you. If you're gonna lie, go lie to the boss directly. Yeah, I think. Yeah, thanks. Bye. You like this? Or wait, you like this folk move? I've been working on it. Who was that? There's Mike. He says he ain't coming to work tonight. That lazy bum! I should fire him, and I should fire you. Why aren't you taking a delivery? I was answering the phone. So answer the phone and work the computer at the same time. You moron! Jeez, why are you millennials so lazy and stupid? Okay, I'm working the computer now. Where's the big Tata sites? <laughs> All right, so, wait, we have to take this order as a double? Looks like I don't got no choices here. I have to take this order as a double. It is I'll take both pizzas and deliver them on the same trip. Let's roll. Pizza need to get to mouse. Which one should I deliver first? Constitution Avenue, Matt. No, let's do 12th Street because it's only um, 0.3 miles away. All right, 12th Street, yeah. 12th Street's really close by. I'll drop it off on the way to Constitution Avenue. No sense in having both orders be late. Yeah, no reason having both of them be cold. If we're gonna get in trouble for one, you know. What, are you kidding me? Constitution Avenue still ain't done? That does it. I'm going to the kitchen to see what's wrong. You guys hate freedom? Is there a bunch of communists in the kitchen? Hey! What well, happened to the order for Constitution Avenue? I'm almost done with it? It should have been finished like half an hour ago. What's the hold up? Uh, 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 Constitution Avenue has two spicy pizzas? I hate making those. Oh, you don't like the sausage? I get what you're saying. But okay, but... I think it's stupid how they keep the spicy sausage in the freezer. I keep mine in the pants. Oh! I didn't mean to call you a home. Sorry. Instead of up here with the other sausage, it's a huge pain to go back there and get it for just one order, you know? Yeah, I agree, I guess, but... So usually, I'll just wait for someone else to take care of it. Girl, you looking fine and sassy, but I, I hate to break it to you. You're the only chef in the kitchen tonight. There's literally no one else to make pizza but you. You gotta, you gotta deliver the sausage pizza, lady. You gotta get it meaty and hot for him. I know, right? So rude. What? What? So, uh, you just, you just skipped that order entirely and moved on to the next two? In Constitution Avenue, what if Uncle Sam lives there? America needs your meaty sausage. Two? More like seven. We had a lot of people order in tonight. You did seven other orders before this one? It was nearly placed an hour ago. What if there's babies that need pizza? They could be crying. 
Jeez, calm down, old man. Look, I'm almost done with the pizzas. I'm putting it in the oven right now. You can stop freaking out. But, uh, it'll take another seven minutes for the pizza to go through the oven. And another 15 to drive it out. Uh, seven plus 15. Uh, pizza gonna be like an hour late or something for sure. Whatever. I'm tired of making pizzas. The customers can deal with it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'll take one order, then return for Constitution Avenue. It better be finished by the time I'll get back or else. I hope you're not threatening to beat her, but maybe a little bit. Or else, you can't fire me. Only a Mr. Ami can do that. I can I can look at you sternly or creepily, or both. Hey, are you gossiping about me in the kitchen? Stop talking and get back to work, or you're fired! I like that. I like to imagine he's haunting those pizza boxes. See? I'm just trying to help people get de delicious meaty sausage pizzas. Sometimes this is a rough job. Wait, what about the text from ourselves? Can we check that out? Oh, I like that door. Is that familiar? Please be a normal delivery. Please be a normal delivery, please. Little pizza, mommy, pizza, see a pizza. Well, bring it inside. I paid for it online, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what the receipt said. You're one hot mama, pizza. Oh, great. Thanks so much. Love you. Pizza, I need a pizza, mommy, pizza. Pizza. Okay, then here you go, little pizza girl. I hope you enjoy your... Thanks! You fart! What? You're poopy. I was man twice in right one night. Am I really that old? Now don't be rude, honey. I'm sure it's not his fault he can't find a better job and he's failing at life. Um, you know, maybe we should take another look at that homework after all. I didn't do no homework. Oh, you don't mean me. After all, you don't want to be delivering pizzas when you're his age, do you? Oh, god dang it. Oh, no, I don't. What a loser. I hope you choke on your pizza. Well, shoot. No tip that time. I rarely get a tip when it's a kid answering the door. Kids are little scrooges. Oh, well, I gotta get back to the store. Pick up that last delivery. What a rude little child. I hate when people are always like, kids are so innocent. Sometimes they are, and sometimes kids are the biggest assholes. Were you ever a kid in school? There are plenty of jerks. Very good, and the pizzas are done, finally. You know, since they've been waiting for their pizza so long, I think I'll give the people on Constitution Avenue a courtesy call and let them know I'm leaving the store now. That way they'll know when to expect me. That's nice and big sausage. You're going to be furious, wouldn't you? If you ordered a pizza and you thought, hey, half an hour, 45 minutes, and it's like way over an hour later, they're like, yeah, we're finally getting on it. Big sausage, I've been waiting for you to show your stupid face in here. The way you said that sentence really sent me, really sent me some mixed messages, boss. Oh, this looks bad. Why did you tell Mike you could take the night off? I make the schedule around here, not you. We didn't tell him he could, we didn't cover for him. Did I click the wrong thing? I didn't tell Mike you could take the night off. I told you he called in sick. He should have come. Oh, he should have come into work anyway. Yeah, so everyone could get. Oh wait, he wasn't sick at all. He was lying. Now I've only got one driver and three kitchen staff. We can't operate under these conditions. There are like three kitchen staff today. Uh, we're the other two. And another thing, why haven't you taken Constitution Avenue their pizzas yet? They placed the order 15 minutes ago. We're the. Uh... See, the thing about that is, the, the kitchen staff, they, they didn't make the pizza. They, um, they skipped over them because the spicy sausages. I don't want to hear excuses. The customer called in angry. I had to give them a 20% discount. That money's coming out of your paycheck. That ain't my fault, bitch. Go talk to the lady that makes the pizzas. Olivia. But I'm not the reason it's late. I don't see any other drivers here. You're lucky I don't have anyone to replace you with, or you'd you'd be fired. Ex oh wait, here's a new dude. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, 
you! Hello, sir! How how may I help you? Uh, I couldn't help but overhear you just now. If you want, I can pay the missing money. What? 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 I've got $20 here. That should cover it, right? No need to take the money out of Mr. Big Sausage's paycheck. Oh, okay, Big Sausage. You got lucky. Good thing your friend was here. But I, uh... I never seen this man before in my life. Am I getting kidnapped? Now take that pizza and scram! I, uh, thank you, sir. That was really nice of you. Dude! Uh, wrong, wrong voice? Don't mention it. It's been a long time since I've done a visual novel. Cut me some slack. Where I took that pizza to Constitution Avenue. Customer was upset about how late they were. I tried explaining what happened, but they don't care about it any more than Mr. Ami did. Poor guy. The only tip they gave me was to find another job. Cute. That ended up being the last delivery of the night, you know. On the way back to the store, I kept looking for squirrels, but I couldn't see none. So it got me wondering about the customer who paid for everything. Who was he? How did he know my name? He looked familiar somehow. Oh, hey, Big Sausage. Oh, you're still here. We need to talk. Can we go outside for a bit? Just a sec. I need to log myself into the computer. No need. I did it for you. Oh, you did? But only employees can access the system, and you know, you really shouldn't be back here. I know your password. It's your last name, Dongerson. Big Sausage ain't too bright, is he? How, how do you know that? That's what I want to talk to you about. Come on, let's go.